let's shift our focus to another critical aspect of customer service management service level agreements sla play a vital role in ensuring that customer service remains not just efficient but also meets the highest standards they are like the promise your organization makes to your customer about response times and issue resolution in this video i'll demonstrate how a sla is attached to a case and what actions needs to be taken by the team so if you remember we created an assignment rule in the last video this assignment rule will get triggered whenever the product of the case is apple ipad 3 via this assignment rule the assigned to and assignment group will be populated let's also create a slas and see how slas and assignment group works together ServiceNow gives you an option to select whether the SLA is a response SLA or resolution SLA. Response SLAs basically means that in the given amount of time and resolution SLA basically means that at the given time this case should be resolved. So for the demo purpose let's choose this as a resolution SLA. We have to create this SLA on the case table. For the demo purpose, we will give the elapsed time to be 2 hours. This SLA will run 24 7 and the start condition will basically be when the state is open and the assigned to is not empty. The assigned to field will be basically populated by our assignment group. Now we will come to the stop condition. This SLA will automatically stop when the state of the case is resolved. So whenever the assigned user provides a resolution for the case, this SLA will automatically get closed. I'll submit this SLA and let's raise a case from the customer portal. The CSM module in ServiceNow automatically generates this inquiry as a case. And as mentioned in the assignment rule, whenever the product is Apple iPad 3, it will be assigned to Beth Angelin. Now, let us try to resolve this case by impersonating as Beth Angelin. Currently, as you can see, there is no SLA attached to the case because of the start condition we gave in the SLA. Once we change the state to open and save the case, you can see the SLA got attached. Now we will try to resolve the case. Generally, you will see that there are some fields which will be mandatory before resolving the case. Fields like resolution code, resolution notes. But just for the demo purpose, these fields are made as non-mandatory. Once we resolve the case, you can see the SLA got completed. So that's it for today's video tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss the upcoming tutorials.